Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanted to show you guys some footage I recorded of the Megalites demo at the Megalites booth at Unreal Fest 2024. If you don't know what Megalites is, basically Megalites is the new lighting feature introduced in Unreal Engine 5.5. It allows you to have as many dynamic movable lights as you want in your scene, all casting shadows in real time and running very performantly. Epic Games revealed Megalites at the Unreal Fest keynote showcasing the Megalites demo which is being run off of a PS5, and I was able to record some footage of the demo being run on the expo floor. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to do an interview with the devs and record it at the same time. They were very clear they couldn't do any interviews, which kind of sucks. So I had to cut the audio from here, and basically this video will just be me talking about the Megalites demo and some of the important things that they said about this demo that I overheard, things that were not mentioned at the keynote. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure that you leave a like and consider subscribing. I will be uploading a full Megalice tutorial video showing you how to enable Megalice and play around with this new future. So make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for that upload. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. So at Unreal Fest, I was able to check out the Megalice booth and unfortunately I wasn't able to straight up just record them and ask questions. So I just stood there and sort of listened to some of the technical things they were saying about the demo. So the first thing that I overheard about the Megalites demo, which is not mentioned at the keynote, is that Megalites currently does not support translucency, so any sort of translucent object, which is unfortunate because a lot of people are actually going to need Megalites to work for translucency in their games. However, it is very important to note that Megalites is an experimental feature in Unreal Engine 5.5, and it is going to be receiving updates and support for things like translucent objects in the future. Possibly we could expect it to be in maybe 5.6 or maybe later on, and that would of course be scheduled for some time next spring. Uh, they revealed the release dates for 5.5 and 5.6 in another talk at Unreal Fest. Uh, that's where I'm getting this information from. I'll just throw it up here on the screen. Anyways, Another thing to note is that the Megalize demo will actually be released sometime later this year. They did not give the exact release date, but if I had to guess, it will likely release in November when Unreal Engine 5.5 is released. And that is just the most logical thing to do since they always seem to release their sample projects along with the engine version that has those new features. Another thing that was mentioned at the booth is someone asked if Megalites replaces Lumen. And basically their answer was that Megalites works with Lumen for all the lights and shadows in the scene. So basically they work together hand in hand. So this is just a good little bit of information that I was able to pick up. Again, I really wish I could have done a full interview with them because these are just bits of information that I was able to grab and I'm just, you know, summarizing these things from my memory. Now, another thing important to mention is that the Megalice demo is running off of a PlayStation 5 and I overheard them saying that this demo at the booth specifically was running around 40 to 50 FPS. I mean, the booth display, it was massive and it was a 4K display. So I believe it runs 60 FPS plus on consoles. I mean, we saw the demo at the keynote and if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll actually play clips from it here sometime during this video. So maybe at the keynote, they were running it at 1080p or something at 60 fps it could have been 4k anyways i don't recall if they actually mentioned what exact resolution they were running the demo at it will still be a long time before megalites will be production ready basically for any future to be production ready not just megalites but even some of the new experimental futures epic actually has to ship that particular feature in their game fortnite so they can test it in actual production game environment only when they have actually tested that future in production can they mark it as production ready of course, that doesn't stop you from being able to actually download Unreal Engine 5.5 Preview 1 right now and check out Megalites and all that it has to offer. You can start messing around with the plugin and I will definitely be making a tutorial showcasing some of the new features of Megalites and maybe I'll make some sort of environment showcasing some fancy light setup. But the next thing about Megalites is that it is supposed to enable artists to have no limitations in placing lights. So without Megalites, you are very limited in how many lights you can actually place in a given area. But with it, it enables you to have no limitations and to just create any type of scene that you can imagine without any sort of restriction. Now, I'm definitely no lighting expert by any means. So some of the stuff I will create will probably not look as good as this demo that we're seeing. 
But again, at the very least, Epic will be releasing this Megalites demo for us to actually dig apart and check out. So hopefully we can learn a little bit about lighting our environment from the demo. Another bit of information that is important to mention is that Megalites currently does not work with directional light, meaning you can't have a bunch of directional lights in your scene. But it also does work for things like point lights and area lights. Again, this is just another feature that they will probably have to get in a later version of the engine. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, that is all the information that I was able to gather at the Megalize booth over at Unreal Fest 2024. Like I mentioned, they weren't doing interviews this year, which completely is strange because they did not say exactly why, but they were totally fine with me interviewing them last year. I did two complete interviews with Epic employees last year, so it's just kind of sad to see they weren't able to do them this year. And you know, I'm trying my best to give you guys the same experience that I had at this event by giving you guys as much content as possible. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about Megalites down in the comments down below. It definitely blew my mind when I saw this demo running for the first time. But yeah, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because I will be uploading a tutorial video showcasing how to get started using the Megalites plugin. And yeah, anyways, that is it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.